Two dog, are you ready? Week in tweets. We get it on your phone because it's not on. It's uh, not connected to the Wi-Fi. We're having trouble. Is it the weather tonight? Get it on your. Get it on your phone, Tyre. And we'll get Two dog to read some off. <laughs> if you want to follow a week in tweets, go to at rugby. What's that double underscore? Double underscore. Why did you do a double underscore? Because you couldn't have a single one. <laughs> and that was the closest <laughs> thing you had to do too. Right. So, so my preparation this week currently consists of about 30 seconds of scrolling through Tyre's phone, looking at the best tweets. Oh, the we, see, we retweet all the best ones, so you can read them out. It makes my job really easy. I don't even know what no, I'm no, actually no. here for anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, we're great chips. You're having your 18th child in about three weeks, so we thought we'd better just make sure we'll get a computer in to do his job. <laughs> get a Twitter account in to do his job. First one I'll do, from Steve Menzies. So, so my career is over. I've had such a great life in the past 20 years playing this gr- game. Great memories, made great friends. Thanks for all your support. Now, I, one thing I did actually see when I was doing my week in tweets was a lot, a <laughs> lot, a lot of tweets from other rugby. I've never seen so many rugby-related tweets in one night. The rugby league world was, uh, was just tweeting mad about Steve Menzies. And it is, to be fair, it is a massive, massive achievement for him being in the game Keith so really. long. You're an idiot, you. You <laughs> said it was, you'd have him in your best team ever, so shut up. <laughs> Love you, Keith. <laughs> and that's it for a week in tweets, because Ty's phone's just broken. <laughs> no, it's not. It has. What you pressed? Chew Dog. <laughs> you, you don't you know! Are, <laughs> level. I think this could be the end of Chew Dog, wouldn't you, say, Keith? It was already on thin ice, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> I'm well below the ice now, Keith. <laughs> and he's... <laughs> and he's oh, not he's got oh, he's back. back. He's, he's, back. Not, he's back. not the thinnest bloke in the world anymore, <laughs> is he? You know what I mean? That's coming from me. He already put his resignation in, though, didn't he, with that yeah, email yeah, that he sent yeah. out? Yeah, like a stone, mate. <laughs> he's holding his paunch. <laughs> <laughs> his hands aren't big enough. <laughs> cool. Cheers, Keith. Next tweet is from Keith. Pleased with my official time for the Great North run. It was 1 hour, 59 minutes and 15 seconds. Thank you for all your kind donations. How far is the Great North Run? Is it a marathon, 26 miles? No, it's no. 13.1 miles. If I'd have done it in two hours, I would have been chuffed a bit. So I was going to say that. You'd, you'd have been highly Gabriel Selassie. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd have, got the world re- I'd have beaten the world record. How is, how is the body feeling, though, Keith? How was, how was the body feeling after the Great North See, Run? See, because you've not been here. We've already discussed it. Yeah. All, so. All right. <laughs> 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 what did you say to me? He's tell What did you say to me? He said to me, I'll listen into the show. Obviously, you'll be listening to the show. <laughs> I haven't paid my phone bill, so I've got no data on my phone. Uh, I'm in bits. <laughs> Move on swiftly. <laughs> Last one of the evening from Gareth Carvel. So you're doing three. <laughs> <laughs> You've got loads. Get some. Get it through, man. I'm gonna keep it brief. Yeah, time's up now as well. Thanks to my bezzy Benny Westwood for do- for donating his Very man well. of the match money to the Ear Trust, the charity that will help my deaf son. What a legend! Yeah, top top look, guys. Just goes to and show Vicky. that. The rugby league community is like no other. Yeah, I think it's been a, a good journey for him. Uh, obviously, um, when uh, his little boy was deaf, it's a whole new journey for him, learning sign language and coming to terms with something like that. It's, uh, but I think he's, it, when, I, when I spoke to him, because I've known Gaz a long time, he, he really embraced it. And um, I think it's up. it's been a fantastic journey for him. He's, re- he's really enjoyed it. And he's, you, you, you've seen a lot more um, positive things happening within rugby league for the deaf community so uh, you know that's great work from Gaz and they'll probably get to MB quicker than you Keith <laughs> so yeah good work any more tweets worth no- talking about Tyre no we're having a few uh, technical problems technical problems 